So this is a modification of the hexachloroethane zinc formula that was in my last video. This is bound in resin, right? So this is what I have referred to up until now um, as the doomsday composition. And the difference with this device is that I used a triagonal um, core. So what I use is a tent stake, right? So I pushed a tent stake through and let this composite cure around that. So it has more surface area on the core. And then there's a wire mesh uh, matrix on the inside to hold it, to hold the ash from occluding the exit port. And embedded in that matrix is a thermic prime composition. So this is going to light hard and fast I'm not sure, this produces a lot of smoke. I'm a little bit concerned that it's gonna really jettison itself. Compared to the size of an M18, this is actually smaller, which is interesting. Let's see here. All Oh my fucking goodness, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Dude, that was fucking crazy. What? Look at that thing glowing. It's glowing on the inside there. This is a much hotter burning smoke. Dude. Okay. <laughs> that was a ton. That put out a ton of smoke. Dude, holy shit. Are we able to see it from there? Yeah, that, that was like, that was nuts. Holy cow. I don't think I have uh, made, seen or made a device that dumps out much smoke that quickly. That was scary. I mean, this whole area is toast. I'm gonna be sending that one to a dirty civilian. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check back in like five minutes and see where the smoke cloud's at. All right, so it's been five minutes and you can see it, it is starting to dissipate. Obviously the smoke movement is based on the area weather, you know? But that, that's laying low. That's an awesome. This one takes a cake for sure.